I want to bring this to your attention. I mean, the message that I started on Wednesday, the campaign you keep. The campaign you keep. You agree with me that sometimes it may not be your wish or your desire to do what you are doing. But because of the environment where you are, you find yourself doing things that are not part of you. You are going against your principles. You are a principled child, a principled woman, a principled man. But because of that wrong company, you find yourself smoking, drinking, humanizing, stealing. There is no father, no mother as ever train his child how to be a criminal or how to smoke. Where do we learn all these things? Through our company. You better know the company that you are keeping as a child of God. Better alone than with bad friends. If I say you are my friend, there must be something in you which makes me to follow you. If you are not calling anything, why should I follow you? I am not saying money. No, money is not life. Life is Jesus. Let me take you back to the scripture. Let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 6. Verse 14. This is the same Bible Apostle Paul was using. This is the same Bible Apostle John and Peter were using. It is the same word we are using. Others are getting fruits through the same Bible. Others are not getting anything. They have mastered the language of the Bible, but they are not getting anything. Why? The company that you are under. This is why, as a child of God, it is not everyone who can say, she is my friend or he is my friend. No. 14, 2 Corinthians 6, 14. Do not be yoked together with unbelievers. For what do a righteousness and wickedness have in common? Or what fellowship can light have with darkness? These are the questions. I asked you this question on Wednesday. I'm still asking you the same questions. For what fellowship can light and darkness have in common? I told you that wickedness the word wickedness will never be changed to anything. It is only a human being that can be changed from wickedness into a righteousness. But if this word wickedness is in your heart, you carry the character of that word. For what righteousness and wickedness have in common? The answer is nothing. What fellowship can light have with darkness? The answer is nothing. You cannot mix the light and darkness. It is the light to quench the darkness. But if you are a Christian, Without the power of God, and you fall under a long company, it is possible that the darkness will enter your life. Before you know it, what you are not supposed to do, you find yourself doing it. There is no school where you can learn how to smoke, how to steal, how to humanize, how to do all these things. There is no school. But where are we learning all these things? The company that we keep. 
you better know the company that you are keeping. If your friend, for example, it is very common when it comes to relationship. I don't know why. I don't know why, only God knows. When it comes to relationship, you not look at the face, the character of the man. Whether the man drinks beer or a woman drinks beer, it is common to women. You are a child of God. You sing inside the church. You do everything inside the church. Then you marry a man who is not a believer. Tell me how are you going to maintain that life of a believer with a man who is an unbeliever? Come on, people of God, I'm talking to you. Tell me how are you going to continue working for God with someone who is an unbeliever? He smokes, he drinks every Sunday. He wants to go and do whatever he feels like this is the way. And this is the person that you want to marry. Marriage is a blessing from God. But out of desperation, we always get, you know, wrong people. Within one week, problem. Let's go to church. Now, Ankanya. Ni mwamule ya mkubomba ku church, ala teti no kunde kawandeke. Why is it like that? Why? This is the question. If you for a long company, remember people of God that no one takwa bako muntu kabiloku chitefin kufibi. Tuisamku isanga tule chitefin kufibi because of a wrong company. You are in relationship with a man because he has money. He will carry it to the beer parlor. You don't drink. You buy a, a bottle, you're drinking. Baby, test it if you love me. If you love me. I, I love you. No, test it. But in when? Okay. Look at you. You are denying God because you are in a wrong company. There's nothing that you have, you know, in common with an unbeliever. But when it comes to relationship, I don't know. I, 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 maybe I should ask you this question. Nishimulenje watilesa te tapeka nyepo umwana wakualesa e no umwana wakualesa vaisa panga. Tafi bomba? Kila bomba. But if you were to stand up here and you start ask one by one where is your twin sister? Is a palebo? You will hear that, oh, tawesa kuchechi, tawafu wano ufwaifi ya machechi, ngafi yaba pente, bala kalipa. But when you paint, you are in a wrong company. You are in a wrong company. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Listen to verse 16. What agreement is there between the temple of God and the idols? For we are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will live with them and walk among them. And I will be their God. And they shall be my people. Are you their people of God? Therefore, this is 17. Come out from them and be separated, says the Lord. Touch no unclean things and I will receive you. Before now, you used to pray. You fast. You join a wrong camp. Gossipers. You become a gossiper too. The language of the Bible disappeared. Even in, when you are, where, where, where you are going with your friend, the only thing that you can do is to talk about people. Not the company that you are keeping people of God. If you keep the company of fools, you become a fool. If you are in a company of failure, you become a failure. Oh, I want to marry a white man. You want to marry a white man. You know the place where you can find, you know, white people. But you are always going to uh, Kansoka. But 
much in your mind you are saying, I want to marry what? A white man. You need to know the company that you are keeping. If you want to be a great woman, a great man, look at the people surrounded your life. What are they doing? Are they positive about life? Your friend is a criminal because he has money in that criminal activities. You keep him as your friend. One day you go to jail with him and you are innocent. There are so many people in the prison right now because of wrong company. They went in the night, destroyed things, maybe killed. In the morning you go, oh, let me go and see my friend because he has money. Not knowing that the police are looking for the, your, your friend. You are there together. The police will bounce on you. No, me, I'm not. No, you, both of you, you are criminals. No, it's not. A, no, both of you, you are criminals. Before you know it. Sentence. You have a friend, a man friend is a drunker. You always escort your friend to go and see his lover. You are sitting inside that beer barrel. Because once, you know, your friend meets uh, whoever she went to see, they will, they will give her something. At the end of the day, she will give you something. Because of that, you are joining a wrong company. If you want to be holy, look at the people who are holy. If you want to live the way of God, look at the people who are living that life. It is you people who said action speak rather than words. You can even see by yourself that this friend of mine is not straight. You keep on going there. When you eat, you finish it. Mwayamu ya ikala. Ngani njuka. Mwamfuwa tibele mkuisha. Kaisha uko batele njuka kuria kuini. Bari katana. Sometimes nga mwamona bantu wa ikatana sana. Te business wale chitabati na hawe katana. What kind of unit is that? No for sure that there is something. Birds of the same feather. They flock together. Let's go to church. You are not going to change. You used to be, you know, a very committed child of God. Now because you have joined wrong people, you are no longer committed. You are no longer interested. When it is time to go to church, they will call you. Come. I'm sure you can agree with me. Some of you, what you are doing today, you, 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 you know, you were not like that before. But because of that wrong company, wrong people, you have lost direction. You don't know exactly what is right and what is wrong. In fact, wrong things now seems to be like a, a, a good thing. The Bible says that be separated from them. Then I will receive you. Do not touch unclean things as a child of God. Let's go to the first Corinthians 316. The one that you know, I'm sure we all know this. Don't you know that you yourself are God's temple? That God's spirit dwells in, in your midst. You yourself, you are what? God's temple. You must know this. But the one that I want you to take home today is 1533, the same book. This one you can go and read it, the same book, 15, verse 33. This is 1 Corinthians 15, verse 33. Do not be misled. Bad company collapse good characters or good morals. Come back to your senses as you ought to and stop sinning. For there are some who are ignorant of God. I say this to your shame. Do not be misled. Bad company collapse good morals. 
If you keep you know wrong company, there is no way you can change them as a child of God. The only way you can change them is to leave them. Let them be the one to follow you. If you start following them where they are going, no, just wait for me. Once the church is over, I'll come. They will change you. But if it is them telling you that, okay, we, this Sunday we are going with you to church, much better like that. I was listening to the testimony of the brother who was talking about the advice of the people. People always mislead our future in the name of bringing what? Solution. If you are in a wrong company, even the advice that you will be getting from them will be wrong. Leave your wife. Leave your husband. He's mistreating you. You don't understand what they are talking about. After some time, when you go back to, this, to your senses, as it is written here, that's when you see that, oh, I made a mistake. It was a wrong decision. The company that you are keeping, is either they are multiplying your life or subtracting to your life. It's better you keep those who can multiply your life than those who are subtracting to your life. I was listening to one doctor. He was talking about the way, you know, people are using this uh, insunko. It's no longer insunko, but uh, something people are using for love. Where did you learn? The company that you are keeping. The doctor said these things can bring cancer. You are putting insunko inside your body. I don't know who trained you. I'm talking to you. Mm -hmm. It is because of the company that you are keeping. If you keep a wrong company, you receive wrong things. You start doing things that you are not supposed to do. By the time, you know, you are, you know it's like you wake up from your sleep, the situation is bad. People of God, Know the company that you are keeping. If you want to grow spiritually, follow people who are mature spiritually. There is no way you can follow a blind person and you expect a blind person to lead you somewhere. Both of you, you fall into that pit. There is no way. Make no mistake. If a witch doctor can tell me that, Mulenga, I'll make you a rich man. Look at the house where that witch doctor is coming from. Look at his life. Who wants to make you rich? Look at his life. He smokes, he drinks, he humanizes. He's the one who, in fact, the coin that you have in your pocket is the one is, you know, trying to grab from you. And you are busy. No. Which doctor? Nindo Shishiria. Mira Bapela na machina ya chisungu. Mule beta fi nanga. Nangulendo shi. Mm. Bam kukulu. Because there's no woman to engalan that I'll make you rich. Him is poor. And he's telling that you'll be rich. And you are busy following the same person. Go and bring this, you bring. Go and bring this, you bring. Go and bring this, you bring. I remember one story. One man was, you know, uh, I, I, I felt it bad. This criminal was, you know, treating this man like a, a, someone who is not thinking. He would put phone somewhere and telling the man that, oh, this is the white man talking to you. Go and bring this money. If you bring this money, he will give you two million. Ah. The man sold everything. Did he receive anything? It was here. He came here for deliverance. I don't know if you can remember him. Hmm? So, make no mistake. The company that you are keeping could determine what you want to become in the near future. If you are in a wrong company, the company of failures, the company of deceivers, the fault finders, you too, you'll be a fault finder. You lose focus. You don't know exactly what is right and wrong. 
nor the company that you are keeping, people of God. Bad company collapse, good character. You were not smoking, drinking. Today, because of the wrong company that you are keeping, you are no longer yourself. Because of that wrong company. If you are in the right company, ah, they will multiply your life. They will increase your life. You will see progress. I'm talking to you now. When you leave this church today, carry this message inside your heart. 15 verse 33. Do not be misled or deceived. Bad company collapse good collector. Tamale tukana, mwariambo kutukana. Yo, haba umenga taule musasukila, bala beele shavale ngidila. Mwasambili de fiofine. Mwaleka la febu inuwa mwabalande. Mwana mwetia nyukwala, mwale 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 kiteisha ani. Dilaba kunchitu atina che. Filaba kari pafta na bebe, fio wachi wafezi. Tena likuweba. Nefo na haba chitaba shina nikani. Mwishaba lalanda. You become a fool because you have joined a fool. You become what? A fool. No, umuwa nakashinga ta umufuwa ilepo girlfriend wala tumpa. Which scripture? Who told you that? Huh? You join a wrong company. You join fools, you become a fool. You are mistreating your wife. You are mistreating your husband because you are learning, you know, a, a, a rotten what? Stuff is entering your system. Hmm. Mwafuaya girlfriend. Atiyo ndechi ta discipline now wakash. Who are you discipline? Who are you discipline? You are becoming now a, a foolish man. It's not me, it's the Bible. It's written there. It's just that there's no time. I can lead it for you. So know the company that you are keeping. Don't learn things from wrong people. You are going to destroy yourself and destroy your future. We are going somewhere because we are learning from Jesus. We are learning from whom? And we are intact. And we can see where we are going. We are not, there is no guesswork when it comes to spiritual life. Some of you, before now, because you have joined wrong people, your life is in shambles. Hmm. Bad company collapse what? Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Not the company you are keeping. Yes, even, even when you join a company, you are working there. You are going there to hand something for your family. There's no way you can join a company that are not giving you anything. No. If you are my friend, there must be something which makes me to be your friend. Not you know you can do it. Look at the life of the, that the person you are following. Know the company that you are keeping. Bad company collapse what? If you join Jesus a good company, a problem solver, a man who doesn't know how to fail, there's no problem he cannot handle in your life. He can advise you, don't follow this way, go this way. Don't do that. There will be problem after three days or one week. But if you join wrong people, you may not know that where you are, you are in a wrong company. Until when you see water reaching at your neck. That's when you say, ah, I mean, she alafika mumukosh. It's too late. Know the company that you are keeping. Know what? The company that you are keeping. Walifia buino, hilo marimuli reshe nishipi, wale mpelo mwanakashi, ale ya kumaketi buino buino, jidafe mwaupa nana, you meet these wrong people, foolish people, they start now telling you to say, umu anakashi tafuwa yiku wale mune kare ya kumaketi, ule mwishitire fintu, wahambo kuchitefe tawarechita. Because you have joined wrong people, feeding you with wrong information. You said you need to be economical. Women, you know, they are giving us a deck. Which a deck? Please, know the company that you are keeping. 
you will learn bad things from wrong people which can destroy your family and destroy your name. Thank you. God bless you.